Uh, my name is Shannon Halligan and I am a licensed creative arts therapist and what that means is I work with people who are working on either problems or challenges and what I use is art projects. So um, all the work that we do is usually based in visual art. It's making things hands-on and it's working on your own personal goals. Art therapy is really based in expressing your emotions and a lot of times we don't have the words to express what we want to say so art can be another tool that we use to help us do that. What we were working on today was a mask making group with a group of adults who have a traumatic brain injury and when people have a brain injury sometimes they have a hard time saying um, what they want to say to others and communicating clearly so creating something like art shows a different side of them, can show things about them that they maybe cannot say to you in words. I like art because my grandfather's an artist, my dad's, my mom's dad. I like, you know, just creating something and stuff like that, just the colors, you know. Because I, because of my brain injury, I don't have a daily memory, you know, since then. This just is kind of like my daily memory, you know. So the process of making something can be therapeutic. Um, if you want to get even deeper into it, you could choose to work with an art therapist who might help you um, work on bigger issues and help you work through problems. When you work with your hands and you create something visual, there's fine motor skills that are tied in. Often occupational therapy and art therapy are related in their goals, um, where you're working on manipulating something with your hands. Brain function and the processes in your brain, so if normally you have trouble paying attention in class or, or just have a hard time focusing, art can actually help you get better at that. I think art can level, um, level the playing field in terms of everyone is more equal. You're not, you're not comparing one person who's a really high achiever to someone who maybe has a developmental delay. And when you look at their artwork, you may not be able to tell the difference between the two artists um, because I think it just looks at more than IQ. I think it looks at more of a whole personality and, and what's going on with a person. Art really taps into the strengths and the positive parts of a person. So rather than focusing on what they might struggle with, it's actually focusing on their strengths. Um, a lot of times when people go to something like therapy, it's to work on a problem, but actually art therapy helps them express the, the tools and the coping mechanisms and, and the things that they already have that work well for them. So art's a way to express those parts rather than just focus on whatever problems you're facing. No, hold on. You're 42? You're 50. No way.